Binary Stream is an independent software vendor who writes and develops software for Dynamics GP. One of their products that I really like is rebate tracking. It allows you to track rebates from vendors as you sell the vendor's products to your customers. So let's take a look at it. What you can do is set up a separate contract for each vendor and their products on which you can get rebates from. So here, here's an example right here. I've got a product here for this vendor, Cardinal Healthcare, and the purchase cost is $40, but I can get a rebate for every product that I sell of $10. So one of the problems I have is I can sell this product, but I can only sell to my customers for $38, but it's costing me $40. So I rely on that $10 rebate from the vendor. So I want to make sure that I track that, and then I request that refund from the vendor in a timely manner. So this is a way I can do it. I'll set up this contract, and I assign customers to the contract. If I click on the customer button here you can see all the customers I have lined up for this particular contract so let's see this in action the first thing we're going to do is put in a PO to purchase the product from the vendor so let's go ahead and do that here I'll just set this up quickly here's my vendor and this is the product right here that we're purchasing so I'm going to purchase uh, 12 boxes from this vendor you can see when I key off the line, it automatically puts the cost in there and also matches it with a contract for that particular item and vendor. So then I would just go ahead and receive this in the regular manner. So I'm just going to do that now. I'll receive that in. This happens to be a lot control item, so I'm just going to put the, the lot number in there. then receive that in and there it is there's my receiving transaction so I'm gonna go ahead and post that so now I have that product in my inventory the next thing I want to do is put it on a sales order and then invoice that out so I'm just gonna put an order in here for um, this item and let me look up a customer here's a customer right here and put this into a batch and then fill out the rest of the order look up that item number there it is and I'm gonna sell those 12 boxes now you realize here I'm selling this at a lower cost than what I purchased it for so I've got a margin problem right off the bat but because this is tied to a contract it's gonna use that rebate and it's gonna show me the margin down here after the rebate so I've got the sales order here and the normal way that you'd process in GP is to transfer this into an invoice at the time that it's shipped so I'm just going to go ahead and do that and this will create my invoice and there's my invoice right now and then I'm just going to go ahead and post this and when I post it it's going to update the system it's also going to realize it's also going to create a tracking record for that particular item that I purchased that belongs to that rebate contract. So I'm going to go ahead and post this now. So the next step is then to process the rebates. So what that means is I'm going to make a request for all the product that I've sold that has a rebate attached to it. So I'm going to look for the not submitted request and hit redisplay here. And here's the item that we just sold. You can see it has complete information about that invoice. So I could print that to Excel if I wanted to just click on Excel it's gonna print this information in Excel but I'm gonna process this so I'm gonna mark it I'm gonna put a batch ID which is the accounts payable batch ID that this transaction will go into go to so we'll take a look at it after that so now I'm just gonna process it it's gonna go ahead and create a credit memo for this rebate amount against that original vendor so let's take a look at that Here's the credit memo that was created automatically from that process that we just did. And you can see here it's $120 and it's going to be credited against the vendor ID. So I'm going to go ahead and post that right now. Save it to the batch and then post that batch. So now the original invoice for the purchase of the product is in my payable system and also that credit memo. So let's go ahead and write a check and I'll show you what happens here. I'm going to set up a check run that includes that item and 
Let's do that right now. Create a batch first. Tab off that. It's going to show me all my vendors. But I'm going to select this vendor here. And there's one invoice that goes out. If I click on the $360, you can see that's composed of the original payment for the product that I purchased. And then it's got an offsetting credit here. So the original invoice was $480. I've got $120 credit. The payment then is going to be $360. So let's go ahead and print those checks. I'm going to print those checks right now. Send them to the screen. And this is going to allow me to show you the, the complete process processing this. So this is the result of the general ledger entries that were created when I purchased the product, when I sold the product, when I processed the rebates, and then when I wrote the check for the product and the rebates. So let's take a look at it. The first thing we have here is we have the cash account. You can see the check going out for $360. Uh, down here I've got accounts receivable for $456, which was the invoice to the customer. Down here I have the rebate receivable. Now the receivable is created when I sell the product to the customer. It's credited out of there when I take the credit memo against the vendor. You can see that right here. I've got the debit from the customer sale and I've got the credit from the vendor payment. See that right there. Next you can see the inventory inventory transactions. You can see the debit going in when I purchase it. You can see it coming out of inventory when I sell it. Here are the accounts payable entries. Again, you can see the invoice for the original purchase, and you see a credit being applied to that, and then the check going out. And here under sales, you can see the sale, the credit for the sale of the invoice. And then finally, I want to look at the cost of goods sold. You can see the cost of goods sold here. You see the original cost at the regular price, the purchase price of that product, but you see the rebate credit right here. So that is a complete look at the re rebate system from Binary Stream.